Welcome. It's the last video to this video e-course on powerful panels, how to moderate a lively and informative panel discussion. My name is Kristen Arnold and I'm a high stakes meeting facilitator as well as a professional panel moderator and today's topic is following up. You have gone through the entire process. This is the last piece that I think a lot of panel moderators just don't do, period, very much at all. So if you want to be extraordinary, you want a powerful panel experience, take it to the next level, pay attention to this video. Um, because the first thing, the piece of the follow-up is that, you know how when you were moderating the panel discussion, there were some key audience members who were just really interested, engaged, maybe they participated and asked a question or volunteered a comment, or they just looked like they were absorbing everything that was going on. Um, this is the opportunity afterwards for you to seek them out, to just ask them, so how'd the, how'd the panel go? What was your biggest takeaway? Engage in a dialogue, engage in a relationship. You might find that one of those panelists or one of those people who was in the audience might be your new best friend, might be your new best client. Um, who knows? The possibilities are there. So take an extra effort to seek out others for the remainder of the event. Another thing that you can do is um, if you were collecting questions in any way, um, either by text messaging or or um, using a Twitter hashtag, or maybe you, you were using some question cards, collect all of that information and use the panelists to help identify the answers to that and then feed it back to the audience, either through the meeting planner, the meeting chair, uh, through the blog site, through social media. Um, that's great grist for continuing education and continuing learning for your audience. So I'm a big fan of repurposing. So repurpose those question cards. Um, you also want to take within the first 24 hours a step back to critique. And for you to ask yourself, okay, so uh, I, I moderated this panel, what went well? Trust me, there will be lots of things that went well. You might not observe them immediately, but ask yourself and you'll, it'll come to you. As you talk to other people, they'll tell you. Um, your evaluation forms it'll say things that they liked, as well as the do differentlys. Now notice, this is not a negative sign. This is a do differently, a delta sign, which is what would I do to upgrade this the next time? Because what's done is done, it's in the past, but to learn to move forward, that is something that a skilled moderator always takes a look at what they could have done differently. And if you actually write it down and keep it in a notebook, you'll see some trends and themes emerge that you go, oh my gosh, uh, I need to get better in that piece. And then you can focus your energy on building that skill. So do a, a fairly, you know, it doesn't have to be a big science project. It's just a, a simple critique based on what you observed, what others observed, your feedback that's come to you um, so that you can get better. You might even find out through this process that you're not a big fan of moderating a panel at all, but you might be a very good panelist. And in fact, this kind of training, this skill building, makes you a better panelist as well. And in the audience, you're so much more appreciative of what a moderator does because it looks so easy. It looks deceptively simple. But now you know there's a lot that goes in there's a lot of moving parts to a really extraordinary panel um, discussion. So from the, the critique, you probably will get some feedback from the meeting planner, and, and that is more of a debrief piece. And usually within about a week, you'll debrief the meeting planner. And there's a couple of ways that you debrief. One is a face-to-face -face or a conference call, just you know, were the audience needs met? How did it go from your perspective? Was this something worthwhile? So you debrief your ideas and their ideas. And um, you know it, that's just a nice way of tying the, the bow on the package. Now, another thing that I don't see a whole lot of panel moderators do that really impress the meeting 
chair and the sponsors, the conference organizers, is if you write up a little summary report. It's your own personal debrief where you write up the description, um, who were the panelists, how many people attended, a summary of what was said, basically taken from your notes or maybe you've got a transcript, um, and then uh, any conclusions that, uh, that were made or any takeaways that you heard from the audience. And then the last piece of that summary report would be any recommendations that you make for future panels because you know we're always learning in this process the you know you think you you've got it all but you know every organization is on a different journey in using panels and so you might have some recommendations in that summary report as well and don't forget to repurpose all that stuff in that summary report well not all that stuff in the summary report but especially the summary and the conclusion piece um, repurpose it post those highlights up put it in your blog put it yeah they could you could put it in the company newsletter or whatever the the communications vehicle is for that organization um, don't forget the recordings need to be posted and loaded up um, I know plenty of panel moderators they keep a separate recording just on their hip pocket um, you might find that it wasn't report, recorded um, organizationally, and so you might be able to put that up um, on the web as well. Um, so those are some follow-up activities. And you know what's really neat about following up is that you get to decide whether this is really a skill or a role that you want to continue. Uh, you know, once you start moderating a panel, you find either you love it or you'll leave it. And if you love it, you will take those skills that you have and take it to the next level and the next level and the next level that you are on a continuous learning path. And I'm just so honored that you've invested your time in this video program. It's been a pleasure to um, give you some of the highlights about the key points, the basic tenets of moderating a panel. And my hope is that you continue to take your skills to the next level and to the next level and the next level. It's been an honor and a pleasure, and I hope to have you participate in some of the social media strategies that we have. I'm extending the conversation with you so that we can um, have all, all panels be extraordinary, to be powerful, to be amazing. I don't see any reason why only 50% of meeting planners say they're okay. Let's make them all hit it out of the park. Thanks for listening.